Hi, it's Sarah here from So Sarah Style. I hope you're all well. Thanks for joining me today. I am hoping today to be able to bring you the Alabaster Tea, which is the March pattern from the Closet Core Crew subscription. Um, I I don't know where March went. Well, it went in a flash with frug So Frugal and um, sewing for sewing shows etc so i didn't get a chance to do it even though it is just um well it's not just a t-shirt as you'll see in a minute um but i am really really keen to get it made up so although <clears throat> i mean we're in april and i also need to do april's pattern um i am hoping to be able to to um to sew this up today i'm joining um the fabulous sequin girly sam on her um virtual sew along so i think the hopefully this pattern should be a good one to be able to take to that um, and get it sewn up whilst chatting because it shouldn't be too complicated. Um, I'll just give you a few details about it, which I've got just here. It says it's a unique spin on a classic T-shirt. The alabaster knit top celebrates the drama of asymmetry. Well, you all know I love a bit of asymmetry. Semi-fitted T, short sleeves featuring a deep opening along one hip that draws to a mitered point along the hem. Alabaster is shaped with a centre back seam and classic crew neckline. Well, that sounds quite interesting. So it's got a bit of shaping as well um, as this sort of dramatic um, opening. Um, so there's two views. View A is a knee length tunic, which is striking when layered over pants and midi length skirts and functions like a casual dress when paired with close fitting bike shorts. Well, I can't see myself wearing it with bike shorts, but definitely with trousers. I really love the, the pictures, their inspiration pictures that they've used. And I think it's a really, really cool t-shirt. But I, I've got, I don't know whether I'm going to go for the full length or whether I might just shorten it slightly. So it's sort of in between the, um, the t-shirt and the, the knee length one. I don't know. I'm going to be playing about with the pattern a little bit, so I'll see. Um, I've, um, I've got this fabric to make it in, which I got from Barry's in Birmingham. It's like, a, it's like a stretch ribbed fabric. And I think that will work really nicely with, with the pattern. It's got enough stretch but it's also got a little bit of structure to it as well. So I didn't want anything too floppy because it's got that mitered corner, which looks like it might be a little bit tricky, to be honest. So um, I've got, I think that will work. And really the other thing it's to go with is I've made another pair of Onyx pants. Um, well, I'm sort of halfway through it. I've I've tacked it all together and then, take, and then sort of taken it apart. I just wanted to double check the fit. Um, I'm always double triple checking everything a little bit creased because they've been in a heap ready to be finished but I think this over those will will be really really nice so if I can well obviously I will do I'll get both of them made up um, to show you by the end of the vlog so what what I'm hoping to do is to be able to join in the social and then I'll get back to you a little bit a, a little bit later with that uh, with a how I get on with it and and b hopefully the finished article so um that's it from me for now see you later so here it is made up the alabaster tea and the onyx trousers I think they make a really lovely combination um the the tea comes to was well, just above my waist so I'd read um, a few reports to say that that actually it came up a little bit high so I didn't shorten it above here to, which would have brought it up I just left the top half as it was and then took an inch out of the um, length and shorten line at the back um, the other thing at the sorry at the bottom the other thing that I did was I made a sway back adjustment I haven't actually seen the back so I hope that's worked um, because I'd seen some people had a little bit of pooling across here it's a really lovely fit at the back because it's cut in two pieces so that's the shaping's really nice and as, as you can see the back's slightly shorter and then it comes down into this um, mitered point at the front this is a size 10 i made the size 8 in the closet core tee pattern um the free t-shirt but that's a boxier fit so i thought well i'll go up a size that seems to have worked quite well um i think those are the only adjustments that i've made and as i say they work really nicely with the closet core pants you're supposed to be able to build one on one on one with um a few of these patterns because the whole idea is to get an interchangeable closet really by the end of of the um of the year so i'll just grab my um, sandstone jacket which I think kind of goes it's all a little bit brown again but I think it works hang on just one second I'll pop that on 
here we go this is a bit i think i don't know whether this is a bit boxy and a bit heavy actually looking at it now i think if i'd made it in denim or something it definitely would have gone um, a little bit better and the funnily enough with the proportions just don't feel right because i i didn't want to take too much out of the length of the the top but i was concerned that it would be a bit too long i think without the jacket it's not too long all of a sudden with the jacket that feels too long it's funny isn't it how proportions work um so yeah i think if it was if it was shorter it would definitely work with the jacket um still love that jacket actually i get quite a lot of wear out of that so this is the yeah this is the tea in the stretch knit um that i showed you earlier and while i was um making it up and while i was making the trousers up another fabric called to me from um from my um shelves at the side and it's it's a problem fabric that i'd made my um dungarees out of it's a dis dungaree disaster when i'd cut them all on the wrong grain and they were really stretchy it's a bengaline which is kind of an odd fabric really um but the color of the bengaline is perfect to go with these trousers so i thought right it's got a bit of stretch let's give it a second chance i'll make up a closet core tee in that I literally did it last night um because it's such a quick make this is such an easy make um so i'll hop i'll hop back with that on and show you um just to see whether the fabric's actually redeemed itself or not okay so this fabric and i are never going to be best friends but i think actually it works it, it works okay in this um it's got the the stretch easily enough stretch to make a t-shirt out of it i've just used a little bit of um i bought another fabric which is um just a slightly a lighter color of this to make another pair of onyx pants because i love them so much um and i've used some of that just to make the, the neck band um because I thought it's it's quite a nice contrast. Yes, it does work in a Bengaline. Um, it, I don't know, it reminds me, I don't know, it reminds me of some kind of weird 70s tabard type thing that I don't know, maybe it's a childhood memory or something. Um, but um, yeah, I, 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 do, I do quite like it, it, it works. Um, and it's really and it is really comfortable. It's got plenty of stretch, plenty of ease. So it's just a very different look, isn't it? If if I don't get on with wearing it long, which actually I think I probably will. I think I'll probably get wear out of it. I could always just chop it off and have it as a little t-shirt. So um, all is not completely wasted with a Bengaline. Because to be honest, I haven't really worn my dungarees very much at all because um, as you'll probably have seen if you watch the other vlog, um, all the stretch was on was on was the wrong way basically it was all lengthwise stretch because I hadn't checked that I should have cut it on the cross grain anyway that was another story um so there there we go so that's that's um yeah two tops I think I'm really I will probably make revisit this pattern again um in a different fabric because um I can see myself getting quite a bit of wear out of it so as you can see, I did manage to get this sewn up in the social and I was so glad that I had chosen a simple pattern because it was really brilliant. Um, I really enjoyed it. There were about 15, I think 15, 20 of us, um, lots of different boxes on the screen, lots of different projects going on, lots of different conversations um, to join in with. So I think if I'd have chosen anything more complicated, then I really would have got um, into a bit of bother, to be honest. Um, as it was, I struggled with the mitered corners and um, I was kind of thinking, well, there's something wrong with the pattern. What whatever whatever and then eventually realized it was user error as always so um with a little bit of focus i worked out how to do the mitered corners which weren't difficult but um i think i'd just been distracted with all the uh, the different uh, chat going on so i would really recommend um for people to join in these virtual zooms it's just really nice to have company in your sewing room once in a while as i say not particularly if you've got a very complicated project um i probably wouldn't advise it but um, I learnt loads, met some new people and, and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it. So yeah, definitely would recommend that. So that was March's pattern. And um, I wanted to just to take the opportunity to tell you a little bit about April's pattern, because I don't think, to be honest, I'm going to manage to get it made up in April um, in the correct month either. Um, however, I absolutely love it. I've just got the details here. So just bear with me and I'll describe it to you. Is this the perfect spring dress? We'll leave it for you to decide. But it's a full A-line skirt with a high neckline, which evokes a nostalgic 50s silhouette. But the lined Sleeveless bodice feels utterly modern and minimalist with its narrow halter style fit through the neck and shoulders. You'll love the innovative button closure along the side seams, not a zipper in sight. That's good with me. And yes, it has pockets. So there's view A, which is um, a sort of a midi length and view B, which is a shorter length. So um, 
The reason that I absolutely love it, but the reason that I don't think I'm going to get it made up in April is that this sort of dress will definitely need um, a bit of twirling and fiddling about with. And I have so many other things in my queue which really, really need to be made up first. If I had an occasion to wear it to, then I would that would probably bump it a bit further up the queue. But at the moment, um, I, I haven't. So it's not sort of pushing me to get it made up straight away. However, I do have the fabric. It's this um, gorgeous. I've shown it you before. It's quite an unusual um, fabric with with lots of different shells and just absolutely love the colours in this as well I love in fact I love all of all of the colours so I think this will just make quite a stunning um, mica dress it's 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 got a slight stretch it's like a, I think it's a cotton sateen and I've got I think two and a half or three meters of it so I'm not going to want to cut straight into this, that's for sure. This is a really precious fabric to me. So I shall need to make it in a twirl first and then get that made up. So I've got, I've had the pattern printed out. It is ready to go. The fabric's ready to go. It's just that I'm not quite there yet. My next plan, um, once I've finished my blouses, I'm still doing my blouses, a sort of cohort sets. And I really want to make the shell heather blazer that I've been talking about for over a year now. I didn't get to make it last year, so I've got to make it this year. Whether it's a heather blazer or not, actually, I'm starting to think it might not be. I'm going to do a separate vlog on different blazers and have a look at those and just see what might work best for my gorgeous shell. Not this shell fabric, another shell fabric, but I'll show you that another time. Um, in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I will catch up with you soon. Happy sewing. Take care. Bye.